All right. Captain, if you raise your right hand for me, you swear a firm testimony you're about to give is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. I do. All right. If you have a seat, state, spell your name for the court reporter for me quickly. Good morning. My name is Captain Derek Page. That's D E R R I C K. Last name Page, P A I G E. All right. This is position three, 23 CP 217 699 World Spillers. Got a willful obstruction by use of threats or violence and unlawful person employed or associated with criminal street gang activity to participate in criminal street gang activity. So, thank you, Judge. Um, Captain Page, can you tell me where you're employed? One County Sheriff's Office. And how long have you been so employed? 17 years. Okay. And um, what does a captain at the Fulton County Sheriff's Office do? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What do you do? What is what is your what do you do in your position? I'm a watch commander as well as a gang investigator. Okay. And in um in regards to gang as a gang investigator, tell me about that. What do you do as a gang investigator? Um investigate various crimes that may um be gang affiliated, um identify individuals that are gang affiliated, um validating them and things of that nature like that. Okay. And where do you do that? Uh, primarily the Fulton County Jail. Okay. And how long have you worked in the Fulton County Jail? Uh, roughly 17 years. Okay. And how do you go about validating somebody as a gang member? A lot of times, not, lot, sometimes we go do it by way of tattoos. Um, sometimes it's communication with other agencies, law enforcement partners, um, as well as direct conversations with the inmates. A lot of times inmates sometimes are willing to tell what their gang affiliation is. Okay. And as part of validation, do you guys do the, in your capacity as a gang investigator for the jail, do you keep um, information um, about the different gangs in your jail? We do, and we also use Odyssey as well in terms of identifying them. Okay. For separations. Where is the jail located? Oh, 901 Wright Street. Okay. And is that in Fulton County? That is. In Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, um, do you know Mr. Spirell? Mr. Spiller, yes, I, um, I've had. I um, Mr. Spiller. I've had contact with him. I do not know him personally, no. Okay. Where have you had contact with him? Um, on the day of the incident, in which okay. one of my deputies was assaulted. Okay. Uh, what was the date of the incident? Uh, the date was uh, March 27, 2023. And you said one of your deputy was um, assaulted. Who was the deputy that was assaulted? His name was Deputy Quincy Coleman. He, um, okay. So deputy Quincy Coleman. Who assaulted? Quentin. I'm sorry, Quentin. Quentin. Who assaulted your deputy? Um, Mr. Spiller. Okay. Exactly what did he do to assault your deputy? He, um, well, Mr. Well, deputy Coleman was um, in the process of performing his duties. Mr. Spiller approached him from behind and splashed him with a cup of liquid fecal matter. Okay. And what happened? Did he see anything when he did that? He said, this is for mob, bitch. Okay. And what does that mean to you? Um, he's been identified as a good fella gang member. So mob is just another name for good fellas. I know mob could be two different things, whether it be members of blood, but however, he's identified as a um, good fella gang member. And when was he identified as a good fella gang member? I, I can't remember. It was around. It was around the time of the incident. It may. Um, I think it was the day of the incident, actually. Okay. And what is the significance of this is for the mob? I'm sorry. What is the significance of that? How did you interpret interpret that as a gang investigator for the jail? Well, at the time, um, Mr. Coleman, with Deputy Coleman, was removing several um, several known gang members, which were part of the Goodfellow um, gang. He was removing them from the zone due to behavioral issues. And at that time, that's when Mr. Spiller did what he did. And then through talking to him, he did admit that he was GF or Goodfellas. So you so, talked to Mr. Spiller? I, I did. Okay, it was after the incident. Okay. When did you talk to him? When? Yes. It was, maybe an hour or so after the incident, he was taken down to medical because um, once he had um, attacked Deputy Coleman, of course, use of force was done, so he had to be taken to medical to be seen by a PA or a nurse practitioner, whoever was working at the time. Okay. So I talked to him when he was down in medical. And what information did you gather from him when you talked to him? Well, when I talk, while I was talking to him, he just made a comment to me. He's tired of um, Deputy Coleman and they're effing with them. Okay. 
And then how did he identify himself as a good fellow? Yes. Now, did he? With, um, with talking to him, I said, well, he did not um, deny, but I said, you did that for the mob, didn't you? And he said, that's when he, meant this, that's when he made the comment, I'm tired of, we were tired of um, Deputy Coleman messing with us. So with that, saying that right there, I associated him with being a good fellow game member. Are you familiar with the good fellas in the jail? Yes, I am. Okay, tell me about the good fellas in the jail. Initially, it's probably not just Fulton County, but um, in the Georgia Department of Corrections, probably one of the most violent gangs in terms of um, criminal street gangs and jail gangs. Um, initially, it started off as 30 Deep, which was based out of Mechanicsville, and um, several gang members who are now serving prison, um, um, prison time kind of switched the name over to Goodfellas. And they started calling themselves Mob. And this happened probably about like in 2013. So for the past 10 years, they have probably been one of the most violent gangs that we have in, in our custody right now. Okay. And so are you familiar with them in your jail? Yes, I am. Okay. And um, and what kind of what kind of things do the good fellas do in your jail? Um, robbery, extortion, stabbings. And is this common if they're doing this for the mob to throw fecal matter at your one of your deputies? No, it's not. And are you, um, do you see Mr. Spiller in court today? I do. Would you please point to him, tell me what he's wearing and where he's seated, please? He's, well, to, he's standing, he's sitting to my left, which he's sitting beside his attorney, he has on a blue Fulton County uniform. You want to let the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant? All right, noted. And um, Mr. Spiller, I'm um, sorry, Captain Page, um, for the good fellas mob, after he identified himself, is there anything he said he's been validated? How did, did you validate Mr. Spiller as a good fellow member? I did. How did you validate him? Just, just um through the conversation um when I mentioned that you did that for the mob, and that's when he made the comment saying that I'm tired of him and coming in there and messing with us. Cause at that time, that's when um Deputy Coleman was removing several mob gang members out of the zone. So that was more of a retaliation for him dealing with his fellow gang members. Okay. And well, that begs the question, how does throwing fecal matter at your deputy further the gang in the jail? How does he help the gang in the jail? Sometimes it could be an intimidation factor. Um, that it could be used as a means of um, what you do to us, we're going to come back and do to you. And... Um, did you have any further contact uh, with Mr. Spill after that? No, ma'am. Did you wait? Did you actually see the pickle matter, or did you get that from Deputy Coleman? I saw the pickle matter. I also watched the video on a visual line camera system. And when I got when I reported to Deputy Coleman at the um, immediately after the incident, the smell, the stuff was still on his clothes. We had to give him new clothes to put on at the time because, of course, he can't walk around with fecal matter on him. Okay. I don't believe I have any other questions, Judge. All right, go ahead, Ms. Houston. Thank you, Good afternoon. Just a few questions for you. Um, did you look into the allegations of Deputy Coleman messing with Mr. Spiller? I think those were your words. No, Deputy Coleman was doing his job that day. Okay. And you said it's not common for good fellas to behave, to have behavior such as throwing fecal matter, correct? Not necessarily on officers. A lot of times, they, a lot of times, good fellow gang members tend to be at war with blood gang members. But for an officer to get attacked, that's not common. That's not common behavior. That's correct? not common behavior. Okay. And you said this was liquid fecal matter. Yes, it was. Okay, and it was in a cup. It was. Okay. And you watched this video. I did. About how much time span is the video? Roughly about three or three or so minutes or so possibly. Okay. And you were able to see everything very clearly. The whole encounter. I was. Okay. Were there any other individuals around? No, other inmates kind of moved out the way, but it was he was in a zone that housed close to 40 inmates. So, yes, it was probably 38 other inmates in the vicinity. Were there other deputies present when this happened? Uh, when the help call went out, yes. Okay. So, Deputy Coleman is moving inmates alone at this time, At correct? this time, yes. Okay. And I think you said that my client had to go to medical after this was done, yes, correct? Yes, he did. Um, what action was taken against him? He was taken down to the ground. I who? think by Deputy Coleman. Okay. And he had some injuries from that? I can't. I think he had a, a, a busted nose or a busted lip. Okay. And then he went to medical and then came back to the same zone? No, actually, we went to medical and then went after reports generated, he was placed on lockdown. 
Okay, how long was he placed on lockdown? I do not know. Okay. No further questions, Your Honor. All right. Anything else from the state? You're on mute. She's on mute. I apologize. No judge. Okay. Thank you, uh, Captain. You can be excused. Stay safe out there. All right, go ahead with the argument. Your Honor, I believe that the facts pretty much speak for itself. The defendant identified himself as a mob member. He was upset because he believed that Mr. Uh, Deputy Coleman was messing with the mob. Um, and he threw fecal matter at him. Um, the Captain Page told you it smelled. He had to change his uniform and he did it, um, as um, Deputy Coleman said, for intimidation tactics. You mess with us, we're the mob, we mess with you. And he also said how very uncommon it was. They usually fight, the gang members fight amongst each other. And it's really rare for them to fight against, well, to attack a deputy. And this is what the defendant did. Uh, I believe the state has met probable cause and we ask that you bind him over. Ms. Eustace? Yeah, evidence. All right, I'll find probable cause on both counts, the obstruction and the gang activity. Looks like bond was addressed on 720 and it was 130,000. You want just to address it again quickly? Yes, Your Honor. All right, go ahead, Bostic. Preach from. In regards to Spiller, open case 22CP207113, Agassault, robbery, firearm by criminal damage, firearm during criminal trespass, multi state offender, Kansas, North Carolina, Missouri, one in Missouri, seven in Kansas, three in North Carolina. In Kansas, he have controlled substance, criminal damage to property, North Carolina, assault with a deadly weapon, serious injury. In Georgia, he have a felony theft by shoplifting and in probation violation, nothing further. All right, go ahead, Ms. Eustace. Yes, Your Honor. Sorry, this uh, as you heard, my client does have a little bit of history. He has been in custody for 530 days as of the printing of his calendar. We would be asking for a reasonable bond reduction. He's been in Georgia for three years. Um, he can live with his mother if you would need that. She does live in North Carolina, so if he wanted to stay out of the state of Georgia and must report, he would be able to do that. Otherwise, he will be able to stay here. Uh, he did receive his GED and was safely employed for about one year at Five Guys before uh, being taken into custody. He's always been able to get gainful employment and will be able to do so within one month of being released because he is a hard worker. Um, as you heard, again, he's been in custody for a significant amount of time, so we'd be asking for a reasonable reduction of $10,000 total. All right. Go ahead, Ms. Oakham. Your Honor, I would just ask that the bond remain the same. I think, I mean, I know this is a jail incident, but the fact is that he's a multi-state offender. He's, I think he's being held on other gang charges. I might have been the one that did it. I remember. Um, and then he did this in jail as well, claiming to be a gang member as well. I would just ask that the bond remain the same, Judge. All right. And just for clarification, this is the only gang-related case that he has. He did have another one. It was dismissed by the courts. So. Okay. okay. All right. So it wasn't so me that did it. I apologize. No, that's okay. All right. Uh, no further contact with Deputy Q Coleman unless it's in his f- official capacity. All right. No drugs unless prescribed. No alcohol, no weapons, no social media, no replicas of weapons. No further contact with any gang members or affiliates of any gangs and anyone from Goodfellas. You're going to have an ankle monitor paid for by the county with a 24 hour curfew, court, lawyer, medical, employment. As long as you supply the name of your employer, proof of employment, schedule, and the exact location you'll be working. Now, if he stays here, he's going to stay in Fulton County? Yes, sir. All right. So the income will be paid for by the county. If any hold pops up, sir, I don't know if something could pop up. You have 48 hours to have that ankle monitor placed on your ankle. And I think you have to call the ankle monitoring company, is what you have to do. Okay. So I would. Uh, 25 and 90, 25,000 and 90,000. Best of luck to you, sir. Your Honor, that concludes my matter. May I be excused? Yes, ma'am. Have a good one. Thank you. You too, Judge. All right.